So this features uh, Queen's Flip bumping into Kai Cena on stream and Queen's Flip trying to get Joe Budden and Kai Cena to piece it up, which is hilarious because it feels like a one-way beef to me. I don't feel like Kai Cena has much of an issue with Joe, but Joe being the legendary hater that he is, he just hates kids who are doing big things, especially in the media space. And Kai Cena, I don't know, he never really struck me as a musical guy, but because he's just really popular with live streaming, he's now turned into like part of the, he's now a part of hip hop media, which is odd because I don't really, he doesn't really come across as like a dude who you go to for your music sort of like recommendations. But because he's so popular, people are now turning his platform into that. So um, yeah, Joey, Joey, Joe Budden obviously has, feels like he has some sort of ownership on that media space sort of thing, or he, like, he's a gatekeeper. And he said some not nice things about Kai Sinat. So now they have some weird beef. Not really, not properly, but yeah, kind of. Queen's Flip tried to get them to piece it up. And then obviously Joe Budden copped a lot of pleas. We're going we're gonna to play with the evidence. I'm going to show all the evidence. But in this particular clip, you can hear Joe on the phone to Queen's Flip telling Kai Sina that he loves him and that he's never hated on him. And he's a fan. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to play some clips where it's pretty clear that Joe Budden had a lot of uh, venom towards Kai Sina. So let's play the clip. Let's see what this. What's up, Joe? Shit was Real quick, no beef, no smoke, relax. What the fuck? I standing right here saying that you don't love him, but I told him you love him. Can you just? I got, yo, dude, I got all the love in the world for Kasanat. See, that is a myth. Yo, what's yeah. going on, Mr. Button? I don't ever believe otherwise. See, Kasanat, I love you. Everything you're doing, my kids love you, nigga. Don't ever believe Joe Button don't love you. Told you. All right, okay. I, I just think I just be don't thinking that you don't love me, bro. Nah, I told Yadi so I love you. Yeah, big up um, God's God's favorite. Yeah, yeah. I know why they fell out, but that's the hilarious part about it. It's such an innocuous thing. Kai Sinat should be shocked when one of his favorite artists that happens to be Travis Scott doesn't win a Grammy against like Killer Mike, I think, who ended up winning. That's not a bad thing. Joe Budden should be rooting for Killer Mike because they're in the same age range, same generation, same type of music he'd probably be into. And Kai Sinat should be rooting for Travis Scott. Kai Sinat should be looking at you dead in the eye and telling you that fucking destroyed Lonely is a better rapper than 50 Cent. He should be. Because he's a child. Those kids are people he probably listens to on a daily basis. So Budden getting all annoyed that Kai Sinat was championing or cheering for Travis and annoyed that Killer Mike won the Grammy didn't make any sense, really. It's like, of course he should be. He's young, isn't it? That's who he looks up to. I told Drewski I love you. Like, I told niggas I love you. He love you. I didn't, like the, I didn't like the 14th Street PlayStation giveaway. That's all. But I love everything. I love everything you're doing. He Please. supports you, nigga. Stop playing with my man. Okay. All right, all right, Joe. All right, Joe. Yeah, man. Just show me love, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah. All, right, all right, Joe. Show my man love. Show my man love. All right, all right Joe. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Joe. All right, good. All right, Joe. All right, Joe. We love you, nigga. Lit. Love you, boy. I right, I feel like he capping. What's yeah, up, Joe? He's definitely capping. It's definitely fake love. He doesn't love him. Uh, big up, all righty. AZ, are you a Candace Owens fan? She's trending on Twitter, Free Palestine, all that. Really? Really? I didn't know that. I didn't check it. I'll, I'll check it later. I didn't check. I didn't see she's trending on Twitter. Yo, yo, big up, Ashley. Big up, Ashley Cummings. What's going on, madam? What's happening? What's happening? So, anyway, you see this? You see this? You see this? You see this? Let me show you evidence. 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 Hard evidence that Joey Budden does actually, or was hating very harshly on Kai Sina. Curse you of these clips I'm going to show you right now. He's always had something nasty to say about him. I don't know really, and again, I think it's just because he's just young and getting loads of money very easily. <laughs> it just probably just pisses him off. It's just very strange how he has this beanie bonnet about Kai Sina. I miss the Drake that was rapping but for the rappers. I miss the Drake that when he dropped the rappers hit him. Okay. Not these little fucking kids. I don't give a fuck about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound... You see? <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> that sounds like hate to me, bro. That sounds like hate to me. I don't give a fuck about you and these little Kai Sinat shits. That sounds like hate to me. Sound like hate. It is. It is hate. hate. It's not hate. It is. It is hate. hate. Go find some niggas your fucking age. <laughs> Hang out with... Don't you find it ironic that Joe Budden would be chastising Drake for not hanging about people that he's his age when Joe Budden's entire brand 
for a period during his career was being known as the guy that was scooping up all of these like Hispanic baddies that barely knew any English and that were like in their early 20s. That's what he was known for. And now he's chastising Drake for hanging out with some of the more popular streamers and shit and keeping yourself tapped into what the kids are doing. It's like, come on, bro. Insert spider meme here. Get some of that sauce. That's the not old, what keeps you. All the, all no, the that's not what keeps you popping. The niggas Fuck these music. kids. That's not what keeps you popping. And if exactly. that's the game he playing, the, I all, gotta play. Fuck these kids, by the way. You hear that? Fuck these kids. Hey, this game all the older popping. niggas streaming music dog. and buying it, Joe? No. Dog, all, no. All, 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 that, all, that, old all that shit, Joe. All that shit y'all saying for me applies to the field. I have long before called this nigga the golden child. Different set of rules apply. Correct. He's him. He is not one of them that y'all telling me about. So that's one evidence of Drake hating on Kai Cena. We got some more. We've got two or three more I want to play before we move on. Uh, here's another clip of Joe Budden just, you know, going out of his way to just hate on the young nigga Kai Cena. Very unnecessary. Let's play this clip. 98% of y'all sound uninspired. Mm -hmm. Y'all do sound low effort. There's no new, exciting creative energy on the way all of y'all sound like y'all trying to sound like Someone the else. artists that you like a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. none of y'all seem to be trying to innovate i missed the drake that when he dropped the rappers hit him not these little fucking kids i don't give a fuck about you and kai Sinet. that's gonna sound like hate it is <laughs> same clip by the way okay my mistake but yeah i don't give a fuck about kai Sinet. and then the last clip of joey budden hating on kai Sinet will be this clip. This is the this is the most recent one. Fucking Travis crying. They, they robbed me 10 times or something he said. Well, he said listen to yeah. this guy. Calm the fuck down. Everybody calm the fuck down. Listen to young I niggas. I don't know who this is, okay? Hey, brother. God bless you. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know who yeah. you are. Niggas. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. <laughs> who, who decided this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck decided this motherfucker? Hello, <laughs> Utopia. Yes, nigga. Yeah, neither of those are better than yes, Michael. Over Utopia. Metro Boomin. Shut your ass up, no, no nigga. <laughs> Yo, y'all little streamer niggas don't always run shit. That sounds like hate to me. Shut the fuck up. That, that sounds like hate to me. That's the. Some people don't give a fuck about your numbers. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like hate to me. Yeah, we don't care about none of that little streamy. Mosh pit, uh, marked card, whatever you niggas is doing over there. Sounds like hate to me. Yeah, let's keep it a buck. The Parks, you said it. Utopia was mid, yo. Yeah. You didn't just shut up, Ice. Deserve the win. I'll say it. We don't care what you have to say. Fuck that. You fucking Topia. <laughs> that shit that sounds like hate. That's you Nopia, nigga. That's definitely hate. <laughs> that nigga's just crazy. That shit was man. I, I'm, with you. I'm just so happy, happy that dropped. the streamer that yeah. the, that these that the little fuckity fucks finally finally have a look in the mirror moment and say, oh, oh, it's not about us. That sounds like hate to me. By the way, I'm happy the streaming niggas are catching an L. That sounds like hate to me, bro. No, adults are out, nigga. Yeah. It's a good one. Niggas got pocket pocket uh, handkerchiefs in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas got fly shit on. Musicians, Go, musicians good, are out. Yeah, real execs. Big Hate. Business people, you little fuckity fucks. Shut up for a change. I'm so sick of these niggas. <laughs> we only get to do this once a year. When <laughs> Yo, BLK says Moses. Sorry, AZ, but Utopia was mid. I never said Utopia was good, my friend. What I'm going at is saying that Joe Budden was on the phone to Kai Sinet saying that he'd never hated him. It was always love. He's a big fan of his. Don't listen to anybody that says I hate you. Blah, de, blah, blah, blah. I'm playing this clip to illustrate Joe Budden has always hated Kai Sinet from minute one simply because Kai Sinet thought Utopia was a better album than Killer Mike's album. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Joe Rogue, sorry, Joe Budden hates Kai Sina simply because he has a different of his opinion when it comes to albums. <laughs> when it comes to who should have been won a Grammy, it's like, like, of I, I, I would be generally surprised if Kai Sina knew who Killer Mike is. It doesn't surprise me that he didn't know who Killer Mike was and didn't think Killer Mike should have beat Travis for the album of the year. 
That's a fairly lukewarm, middle-of-the-road take. It's not that crazy. It shouldn't elicit this type of reaction. But Budden obviously hates and is a consummate hater, professional hater. He's very good at it. He's very successful at it, but it's just coming from a hating point of view. Listen, we got to rush behind Killer Mike. Killer Mike won. <laughs> yeah, we got to yeah. let these niggas know what the fuck we really think. He won and ain't sitting down with a single streamer. Little motherfucker. <laughs> More hate. <laughs> Word, that part. Not, More hate. Not one of you niggas. Not one. Niggas like, who? Yeah, him. We knew who he was. Yeah, we respect you. Yo, oh, shit, they broke the whole console. Oh, they smashed everything. Yo, we feel that. We feel that. But niggas is getting dressed and bringing women out tonight. All you fucking incels. And the base That's strong hate. This player. Yeah. <laughs> Celloist. Yeah. All that fuck. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just it's just a funny place to be at. Funny place to be at because, like I said, I don't even think Kai Cena is like musically inclined in that way. You know, he's a really good streamer. He does well what he does well at. But because he's really popular, people are now going to him for that. He's now become like the unofficial home for like Little Yatty and Concrete. Um, he's had some very successful and very legendary live stream interview stuff with musicians and shit like Tyler. So it must be really annoying to Budden because Kai Cena is not even trying. And he's now become like a media personality in hip hop, you know, or in music. He's now become like part of like the album promo run, <laughs> and he's wet, and he's and he's kind of voice holds weight, even though he's not taking it that seriously. And he's just started recently. It's just like, <laughs> and he's probably making like way more money than Brent than Trey than um Budden is doing it. So it probably fucking annoys him. It really fucking annoys him, which must be horrible. But hey, what can you do? Br uh, Budden is the consummate hater. Budden is the consummate top tier, top of the line hater. So I'm not surprised he would say that. I'm not surprised he would say that.